Hello again. I've come to a place today just to test out the intelligent flight modes, especially the quick shot modes. And would you believe it, it's a place called Top of the World. Although it isn't the top of the world. It's a high elevation on top of a hill. It's a little plaque saying Top of the World. You notice I've got the chest harness on. It's about a 20 minute hike, so I'm gonna do a steady hyperlapse all the way up for you. I'll be doing the hyperlapse on the Action 4 at a rate of times 15. Here we go. We made it, We're top of the world, honestly. Look. <laughs> so now I'm at the top of the world. I'm going to show you some uh, quick shots on the DJI Mavic 3 Pro. And if I have any more battery juice in there, I'll go over some other modes. But I'm just focusing on the quick shots just to show you those. So I'll set up over there rather fast, as you'll see. Let's go. Standard RC today, as I felt sorry for it because it's getting left out. So let's get the drone up and get on with the quick shots. Here we go. Right now, the drone's up. Just switch to the screen recording, as you'll see. Just to the right there, we're going to access quick shots. And first on the quick shot menu is one called Droney. Now, we'll just tap, tap the plus sign there or draw a box around me, and it highlights in green. I'm just going to set the distance here to 50 meters. The drone's going to now fly diagonally backwards uh, while well, it's keeping me center frame and then just return. Nothing really exciting on this one, so this one's called Droney. I'll just make sure I speed these up because um, if I leave them at normal playing speed, it's just going to be quite lengthy and boring, so I'll just speed some of these up now. Now we're going to move over to the second one, which is called Rocket. So no guesses there what you think this one's going to do. Just draw around the subject or tap the plus sign. Exactly, as I'm pointing up there you can see. The drone's just going to go vertically up while it's keeping me center frame. As it's rising in altitude, it's just going to be rotating the gimbal downwards just so it can keep locked on its target. And then that's it, as simple as that. And that'll return for the next one. The next one on the quick shots menu is just called circle. No guesses what that's gonna do. You can either do this left or right. In this case, we're gonna go right, which is anti-clockwise. So the drone's just gonna slowly but surely fly around me, keeping me center frame there, as you can see from the screen recording. And the next one on the quick shots menu is called Helix. This is one of my favorite ones. Just highlight the subject there again. Again, on this one, you can set the radius. I like to keep it to about a 50 meter radius on this one. Just, just do the usual, tap on the subject. You want to select left or right. In this case, we're gonna be flying left. And now the drone's gonna circle around me, but at the same time gain altitude, like an upward spiral motion. I do prefer this one. This is one of my favorite ones because you can get a real nice panoramic sweep of your surroundings. It's great for reveal shots if you're at the coast. Just vast open panoramic views, cliffs, mountain tops. This is the definite quick shot for you because as you can see there, it just reveals everything. And on the next one on the quick shot menu is called Boomerang. Now we all know what a boomerang does. So this is what the software is replicating. Green plus sign there, that'll highlight the subject. Again, you can switch it left or right. I'll be flying right, which is anti-clockwise. So this one's just gonna replicate what a boomerang does, as you'll see in the footage now. And 
And the final mode on the quick shots is called Asteroid. Again, just tap on the subject which you wanted to keep in focus. And now with this mode, the drone's just gonna fly vertically up. It's just taking pictures everywhere in every single direction. And then it's gonna stitch all those together automatically to give you like the effect of an asteroid. As you can see, the camera's taking pictures from 360 degrees, top, left, right, middle, bottom. And then when all those pictures have been taken right at the end, the software is going to stitch together all those pictures for you, which is very handy so you don't have to do it yourself and create like a globe effect. So they just name it Asteroid. So that's all the quick shots done to the left there, as you can see. Just over to the right, if you scroll down, there's one called Master Shots at the top. We'll just select that. Now this basically automatically does all the quick shots merged into one as well as zooming in and zooming out so i'm going to speed this up a little bit because it can go on for two minutes plus this so i'll speed it up and then you're going to have quite a good idea what the master shots does here we go So that went top of the world. You'll really be able to see the top of the world from the uh, screen recordings there. I like to do the screen recordings as you really get a feel for what it's like flying one of these drones. You also get an insight what I'm seeing on the RC screens from the screen recordings. So now I've landed. I hope you enjoyed that video. That was a quick tutorial on the quick shot menu. I also did a little bit of a master shots there just to show you. And then like I said, I've done all these quick shots on the screen recording so you can have an insight of what I'm seeing and what it's like on a DJI RC. On the videos I make, I try and get across to people just exactly what I'd want to see on YouTube. You gotta keep things like this as simple as possible because these drones and cameras, if you're going through every single menu, it just gets overwhelmed, but there's no need to go for absolutely everything. You need to know what you need to know, basically. And that's exactly what I'm trying to show over this channel. So that being said, if you enjoy my videos, you enjoy ground cameras and drones and all sorts of tech, this is the channel for you as I'll be posting plenty more in the near future. So if you've made it this far, I really appreciate it as it helps the channel and I'm hoping it helps anybody out there who stumbles across this who maybe is just interested in this kind of tech or is wanting to purchase it as there's nothing better than YouTube tutorials to be honest. So that brings me to the end of the video now. So thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and bye for now.